What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I will explain exactly what the prismatic matrix is as I'm seeing many people are a little confused on this matter and this new feature to Destiny 2 but remember guys if you do enjoy the video and it helps you out hitting that like button truly helps me and my channel out and I do appreciate that support okay so let's get into it this is what Bungie say about this new edition in the January development update, we spoke of shifting the balance of vanity content in favour of activity rewards. Rather than purely through Eververse, we first addressed this balance by adding vanity rewards to Crucible, Nightfall, Strikes and Raid activities. To further improve the overall Eververse experience, a new feature we're calling the Prismatic Matrix will debut in Season 3. This feature has been developed with three key goals in mind. Give players more control over how they earn Eververse items. Offer a more predictable path each week that guarantees access to specific items and drop fewer duplicate items. At release, the Prismatic Matrix will feature 10 Eververse items from Season 3 each week it is active. Each item within the Prismatic Matrix is on a knockout list, which means every player is guaranteed to receive all featured items for a given week by the 10th activation. Earning items via Bright Engrams, Bright Dust or previous Matrix activations will also knock rewards off the list. In turn, each activation guarantees players an item that they may have never previously acquired. With your first well-rested level up each week, you'll earn a prismatic faceit, allowing one free use of the prismatic matrix. Prismatic faceits stack up to three. So make sure you have proper inventory space before earning a rank up on a given week. Players can also purchase more activations for 200 silver each. Outside of the Prismatic Matrix, players may continue to earn Bright Engrams each time they level up and they can still purchase these Engrams if they want a chance to get everything from the Season 3 catalogue. Additionally, we're increasing the number of items available from tests each week with Bright Dust from 14 to 18 items. We want to continue experimenting and evolving Eververse to improve player experience and give more paths to earn Eververse rewards. Please give us your feedback once Season 3 begins, as we're dedicated to improving these systems moving forward. Okay, so this Prismatic Matrix is basically a feature to allow you to eventually earn all of the Eververse loot within the running season. Each week, the Prismatic Matrix will feature 10 different items from Eververse's stock. Each week you can earn one prismatic face it across all three characters, so a max of one per week. But you can stack up to three. So if two weeks pass and you haven't used your prismatic face it, on the third week you get three tries. Leave it longer than three weeks without using the prismatic matrix and you will lose out on a prismatic face it. Because like I said, they only stack up to a max of three. So the ten items featured on the list, they are items obtainable via bright engrams and via bright dust purchases from Eververse. If you already own an item which is featured within the Prismatic Matrix, it will be greyed out. Even if you've deleted said item, it will still be greyed out. Duplicates can only come from Bright Engrams and not the Prismatic Matrix. You earn the Prismatic Facets per level up, like I said, only one per week across all three characters, if you have three that is. The items within the Prismatic Matrix are random, so you don't get to pick the said item you want if it's available. There's still RNG playing its part here, and because you can only earn one per week, one of these Prismatic Facets per week, the chances of getting the item you want if you don't own any other featured items within the Prismatic Matrix are obviously at a 1 in 10 chance. Additionally, what Bungie are doing here is taking a select stack of 10 items from Eververse's loot and teasing us with them, making us want to play the game to get said items. This is a smart thing Bungie have done here, or it's cheap, you make your mind up. To see what's within the Prismatic Matrix, you have to use the Prismatic Face It. So when you do this, you have no choice but to receive an item. You can't back out of it and save said Prismatic Face It to use within another week if there's no specific item you want here. Once you click on that Prismatic Face It, the Matrix will boot up and you'll get a random item off the list of 10 items it has here. You cannot see what this Matrix offers without using the Face It. What I suggest you do is then, play things smart and actually because I believe said prismatic matrixes will be the same each week for everybody just wait for someone you can trust i.e. me to post an image of said week's prismatic matrix then instead of instantly using your prismatic face if there's an item you see here you want farm bright engrams and do this up until you knock out items on that week's prismatic matrix 
because obtaining said loot from Bra engrams that are offered on the prismatic matrix will grey them out on that list, meaning there's more of a chance in you getting that said item you want. And that's honest advice guys, Bungie obviously although won't say it, want you to use your prismatic facet as soon as you get it. You'll then see an item you really want, and because obviously you won't be rewarded that said item you want, you'll think about buying silver to spend 200 each time for a chance of getting that piece of gear you're after. There's no doubt about it in my opinion guys. Now although this feature is a good one, and it does allow us to chase said items, if not used correctly, you'll just be wasting your prismatic faces each week. Like I said if there's an item you know is available that week, don't use your prismatic faces until you have farmed as many items off the prismatic matrix list as you possibly can in said week. Then use your prismatic faces. This will obviously increase your chances of getting that specific item you want from the prismatic matrix list. And if you somehow get the item you are chasing from the prismatic matrix list via a bright engram, well that means next week you have an extra prismatic face it to use. And that guys is honestly what I would do. And guys we have come to the end of the video. I hope this clears up a few things for you. If you're still confused and have any questions let me know down below within that comments section. But guys we've come to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did leave a like it really does help me out. And as always guys I will see you on that next one. Always in the